Tonight, the Vigo County Commissioners announced millions of dollars in future investments around the community. The funding comes from the federal government's American Rescue Plan Act. The county had about $20 million left, and tonight, over $15 million of it was allocated. Will Price was at the meeting and has more on what projects are set to receive the funding. Will. Yeah, Mike, it was a plan months in the making, and the county commissioners said they worked right alongside Terre Haute City Government to make to address as many things as possible. The result, millions for housing, mental health, and infrastructure initiatives, among about a dozen total projects discussed. In the packed Vigo County Council Chambers Tuesday night, all eyes were on the Vigo County Commissioners as they announced over $15 million in spending on local projects. The biggest investment, $5 million for housing, going alongside a $5 million commitment from the city as well. Commissioner Mark Clinkenbeard says they are still in the process of finding exact projects for these dollars to go towards. Uh, there will be an application process, you know, a part of it could be infrastructure, uh, part of it could be, you know, anything to help spur housing in the area because we know it's a big need. It's a need for the people who live here, but it's also a big need uh, for businesses that want to locate here. That was the biggest project, but not the only one. Among the other largest amounts announced? Three million for the Indiana State Early Childhood Education Center, and around two million apiece for infrastructure projects and programming for the Vigo Juvenile Center. County Council President Todd Backer says the variety of projects was what stood out most to him. Not just a single project, but we saw ISU involved, we saw Rose Hallman involved, we saw St. Mary's involved. So then we touched on we touched on housing, we touched on uh, animals, we touched on um, a lot of different factors. In all, about a dozen projects were disclosed tonight, but the county left about four and a half million to spend something they have to do by the end of 2024, according to ARPA guidelines. We don't want to rush to judgment and then miss a good opportunity, so we still don't have to have it committed till 24 and don't have to spend it till 26. Now the next steps will be for the county council to finalize the spending plan at their meeting next week. And for a full list of projects announced, you can check out our website, mywabashvalley.com.